Hello everyone, I am Mantra Trampadia aka Mantra 7 and in this video I will explain you the proof for problem E and the complete solution for it. In our full editorial you can find just the solution so the proof will be here. I'll just quickly go through the statement. Uh, we are given a sequence from A0 till A2 uh, till AN basically N plus 1 terms and after which the sequence is all zeros because it's infinite sequence and we are given a condition that it is non-increasing so like idle it will remain same or it will decrease but it will not increase and uh, the statement is that uh, we are given a grid and with some condition on it basically the condition is on coloring if a cell is white or it's black and the condition for that is in each x comma y if y is less than ax then the cell will be white else the cell will be black so let me just uh, do this with an example i'm just explaining the statement with example because it's actually a bit complicated and i'll actually not take this bit let me take it here so this will become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So here it will be 7. Uh, yeah, 7 here and we are given 7 plus terms. 7 plus 1, 8 terms here. So in this case, let me just show you the situation of the grid. Like how it will be, uh, which cells will be white and which will be black. So then there are infinite zeros after this. So one thing to realize is, let me fix uh, let me fix a x. So the condition is depending on y and x. So if I fix, uh, let's say x equal to zero, then from what index y will I get black cells? So if I draw this, this is actually my index x and because they are rows and this is y so if i you know fix x equal to zero then basically i'm in the first row so from the distribution of the colors in this row will be there will be some number of uh, let me just write with this only there will be some number of whites in this row and the, they will be whenever y is less than a of 0 and after which all the cells will be black. So from this condition you realize that all the cells till a of 0 all this will be white. And this is pretty simple like all y less than a of 0 all will be white cells and so this all is white and after this after a of 0 everything will be black so i hope uh, you can see that this all will be black and only till a of 0 it is white what happens when you consider the first row so if i consider the first row then situation is very similar just that a of 0 changes to a of 1. So what is a of 1? 6. So in this case the sixth cell will be black, this is white and all this after this is all black because in that case y is always greater than or equal to. And similar to row 2, uh, this is the square that black starts. Similar for row 3 because the value is 6 then there is 5, 3, 2, 1. So 5, 3, 2, and 1. So there are 7 rows in this table and all of them are filled. After that it just starts with 0 so I'll just put 1 here. So if I, uh, if I erase this. then the final you know the final structure of the 
the grade will be this this is the line which you can take it till this square only and from 8 so all the cells below and right side of this black line are black and all the cells uh, in above this are white so this distribution you can get from the array because it's an 8 everything after 8 in the first row is in the 0th row is black then everything after 6 in first row everything after 6 in second row and so on so question is there is a one doll on 0 comma 0 and in one operation we remove that doll and we make two dolls in x y plus one and x plus one y and we just have to figure out what minimum number of operation we need to do such that all dolls are in black so how can we guarantee that all dolls uh, will reach black basically in each move either your x is increasing or your y is increasing and we have figured out that structure of black cells is there is a uh, line after which everything is black to the right and to the below so we'll definitely reach this and now initially we are given a one doll at this square right so i just want to figure out if i keep on doing this process this moves to make dolls go down and right how many dolls will reach each square so for example if i do one operation on this one doll will reach here and one doll will reach here and then if i do one operation on this both then you can see that one doll will reach here two dolls will reach here one from this and one from this and one will reach here and if i keep on doing this process then you'll soon realize that it is actually making pascal's triangle just you you have to view it this way so after this if i tell you to find value in the cell x comma y you can easily say that it is x plus y c x or y anything is fine so this is basically my value in each cell which denotes how many dolls will reach there if i keep on doing this process to make the dolls go down and to the right so now we have all the basic things that we need to find the answer uh, so let's just directly jump to it the black cell in the zero row, wherever it starts we have to be sure that all the dolls that that were in in this row they have to you know reach to this black cell because in each time you are making the doll go down and to the right so if a doll is at zeroth stage uh, in 0 comma 0 then it will go down and right so we basically may are doing one operation on this doll then similarly when the doll reaches here we have to do one more operation on this doll to make it go down and to the right similarly on this doll and so on till this doll after you do this operation this doll will reach this cell which is a black and we don't want to do any more operation now so what i'll count is how many operation am i doing in each row so in zeroth row i am basically doing whatever is the sum of all this it's not pretty clear from this one th uh, just this one row but let's just see the second row and you'll realize so what are the number of operation that i'm doing on the second row so all the dolls that will reach second row i'll have to do one operation for them and so for example this doll uh, that came from the top i have to do one operation on it to make it go down and to the right and the two dolls that were here i am doing total two operation to make them go down and right so from that way three dolls are reaching here four are reaching here five are reaching here and six are reaching here so basically how many operation did i have to perform in total in second row after this this is a black cell which we found from the boundary 
So I have to totally do the sum of these numbers. I have to totally make this many operations in second row to make all the dolls reach, you know, black side. If I think in third row, similarly this that came from the top, I have to make it go to bottom. So that will take one operation and it will go to right. This cell will totally contain three dolls. So three operation for that. Then six operations for this cell. Ten for here and so on. So if you see the pattern in each row, you are basically doing the sum of cells before your you know the black cell sum of all the values in the cell before your black cells this many operation you'll have to do in second uh, second row because all these numbers the numbers that we found the pascal's number they are actually denoting how many dolls will reach that and uh, whatever number of dolls will reach there you'll have to do that many operation on that doll to make progress towards the black cell so now our goal is Finally, now we have everything. We just want to find out the sum of all the values in this row where the first index is definitely 0 and the last index will be A of i. A of i minus 1 to be specific because we figured out which cell will be first black cell which will be uh, y equal to A of i. So now it's just one piece of simple binomial that you should know so i i told you that each uh, each cell is x plus y cx so in uh, if i am in i throw let me just increase font size this should be fine so if i am in i throw then i have to sum all the cells from i comma zero uh, it is auto capitalizing fine i comma zero to i comma does this work no this doesn't work i'll just use square bracket i have to find sum of all this right so if i list this out then i comma 0 cell will be i c 0 then it will be i plus 1 c 1 then it will be i plus 2 c 2 dot 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 i'll go on till i plus a of i minus 1 and c a of i minus 1. I could have also used i at all these places uh, but you will see why I am using a of i minus uh, why I am using the y and not the x part of it. So if you want to you know figure out all this sum you can actually simplify this sum. So this is a normal math trick that you might have learnt in 12 standard. So what you do is change this i i c 0 to i plus 1 c 0. I can do this right i c 0 is 1 i plus 1 c 0 is also 1. And then there is a rule which basically says n c r plus n c r minus 1 is actually is equal to n plus 1 c r. If you didn't know then basically you know now this is a rule. You can verify it by expanding both sides and checking it. It will turn out to be same. So that same thing is applies here n c r plus n c r minus 1 this will reduce to n plus 1 c r and this will go similar thing again n c r r is 2 and n c r minus 1 this will turn to n plus 1 c r which is basically i plus 3 c 2 and this will uh, go right side telescopically and here we will reach at one stage we will reach i plus a of i minus 1 c a of i minus 2 and this is again same structure this is our n and this is our r so finally it will reduce to 
i plus a of i c a of i minus 1 which is basically the sum of uh, zero uh, i throw and the sum in i throw all the things that that are necessary for us all the dolls that we have to do operation on basically from index 0 till index a of i minus 1 so that is this sum in the closed form and yeah then you just directly code this up so i will not explain how you can figure out factorial you can just check it from other websites but if you have a function for finding ncr and all the factorials in mode inverse and everything then the solution is just taking the array and initializing answer to be zero and just in at each iteration just add i plus a of i comma i of i minus one the thing that we discovered now this basically denotes all the operation that you'll have to do in the i through and you keep on doing this till i equal to n and uh, and yeah you got your answer so in this it was just figuring out what answer actually is and if you reach this uh, far that you figure out this is pascal triangle and each thing will be uh, there will be a line separating all the whites and blacks then you should at least reach the stage that answer is the sum of all these values so let me just draw once again answer is the sum of all the values that are in this white region then it just becomes question on how you want to sum them the way i decided to do was some row wise you could have done some column wise as well or some other trick as well but yeah i think the row wise sum was the easiest thing and row wise sum you can do because you can simplify it to this nice form so yeah this was it for problem e i hope you enjoyed it thank you